A tumble-down house in a Northamptonshire village is the scene of one of the strangest and oldest industries in the country. Over 200 years old, the house is the workshop of a veteran woodworker. But I don't suppose for one moment you'd guess what he was making. No, not logs for the fire, nor cricket bats. As you watch the wood being turned on the old-fashioned wheel, you might get some idea of its eventual shape, but you probably couldn't give it a name. For nearly half a century, the old man has been working this simple lathe, and even an untrained eye can easily detect his skill. Got the idea now? As he treadles, you'll notice that the wood is gradually assuming the shape of an egg. And that, believe it or not, is just what it is, a wooden pheasant's egg. Natural eggs are prone to disease if left with the wild birds. Or they may be raided by various animals, so they're removed for hatching in enclosed runs by domestic hens. And the wooden eggs are substituted. When the eggs are painted, even the mother pheasant couldn't tell the difference between the fakes and the real ones. In other words, she's just woodwinked. Whoever said that eggs is eggs will have to think again. Sometimes eggs isn't. From